Biotech Cell has been a great association with our college. And I am Dr. Malineni Perumaldu. I run engineering colleges exclusively women's engineering colleges in rural areas, Prakasham district and Guntur district. And I think with the association of the Biotech Cell before that, let me, I can still remember 2019, before few months before COVID, when Charan and his team entered into my chamber for this association, I don't know why I have signed that. And I don't know what made me to take up that step, that bold step. And today I'm here and I can proudly say that the Biotech Cell is part of our Malinani group at present. <laughs> Running engineering colleges is very tough. That too, women's engineering college is also, it has become tougher. And that too with 35,000 of uh, fees per year. As uh, Chakravarti Garu and other guests were telling, why students nowadays or even engineering students that too, we have most of the students are from rural areas and they take up engineering just because government is giving them fee reimbursement. 70% of the students are through fee reimbursement. That is why they are taking up engineering because of the government support and that is why they are joining engineering. Even though they don't get qualification in, uh, they don't get qualified in M site or if they get even one lakh rank, the first thing they ask is, what about the placements in your college? I was surprised even IIT, the, uh, another delegate was telling, even IITs has the same uh, kind of thing. They come to an engineering college, they ask, when we ask them why engineering, they just say job. Which branch in engineering? CSC and only CSC. Nothing else, not even ECE, forget about mechanical, civil, triple E and all. And why CSC? Software job. Why software job? To go to US or to fly and uh, take up job there. Why you need to go to, uh, you need to get and fly to uh, US or UK to get an NRI match. Why NRI match? Because my neighbor, my relatives get this. With a very narrow minded, most of the parents or most of the students, they come to engineering education or they come and uh, we can find, we can clearly uh, say that they just focus on placements, nothing, they don't worry about, they don't want anything. If the placement is good in that college, I think they uh, have that admission. Uh, I think Bitexcel, before entering into association with Bitexcel, my intake was only 360. But now my intake has gone to 1120 and my now I'm autonomous institution. <laughs> And my recruiting capacity also also has increased. Paying capacity package, salary package also has increased. Admission process also has increased. And no doubt I can never forget uh, Bitexcel in that way. I think we are working on other some other models also. We, uh, Mr. Charan and his team, surely we'll be, I think we'll have a great association with our uh, college. And uh, few things I want to share regarding this uh, technology, or uh, technology for engineering students. See, let us see uh, pros and cons of using mobile. Even school children, uh, last week we had a session from government teachers. Uh, we were given, few engineering colleagues were given uh, some sessions. We were asked to take up some faculty and train government teachers on uh, technology, digitalization of their classrooms and all. End of that uh, session, we had around 160 government uh, teachers who visited our college, who got trained in our college. End of the session, I was called and uh, I was asked to speak. And uh, I heard from them that, see, government students, they hardly get to buy chapels, they hardly get to buy books, even though they are getting funds from government. But everyone has mobile. Everyone has mobile. That's what government teachers are complaining. Live about private sector or live about, live about corporate thing. Most problem I think we'll be facing is use of mobile phones among our students and all. Creativity is lost. See, we saw one little kid there. Why she came to that screen? Not to play. See, uh, she saw that shadow falling and she's uh, trying to create some images. Once she goes to engineering, that creativity is lost. Creativity is lost. 
and with zero creativity zero innovative innovation we have to again start engineering colleges or biotech cell or corporate sectors again we have to again regain them or uh, give them that capacity again to take up all these things that is what the present scenario is training training is very much important unless you train the faculty faculty are not getting updated most of the faculty now we have branches like most of the engineering colleges in india we have branches like cs and allied branches data science artificial intelligence machine learning and all but uh, regular faculty they are not in a position to differentiate between a csc classroom ai classroom data science classroom a class that is where i think biotech cell have to take up this uh, gap i have to fill this gap that is what we feel even the mobile phones if we give them real profit real stuff in that mobile or if you give them information in that mobile how they used to what mobile is used how it can be better used or more useful to the uh, technology and all i think at least instead of 90% of them uh, students are misusing the mobiles but only unless we give them real stuff into that they'll at least they'll start uh, taking up this mobiles in a proper way that is a great challenge we will be facing in future where even now that it has become universal problem and i think uh, what we expect from biotech cell is no doubt we have most of the students are from a rural uh, rural areas where uh, few days back two three days back i had a admission one of my friend brought his daughter to for admission in my college that the girl doesn't know that this is a women's college his father is my friend he brought when i asked her sir uh, are you not this, this is not a coed college i expected coed college i want admission in coed college then they went out father came in who is my friend he asked sir give her admission in this college only she doesn't know that see girls are preferring coed college parents only parents are preferring women's colleges insecurity problem or the social things or whatever uh, it is but they come in a narrow minded why engineering it is only for job social responsibility how government how much government is spending on their education that is completely forgotten and i think that is where corporates that is where the other associations have to take up this uh, role and this is what we expect being running engineering college nowadays in rural areas i think mr chakri was telling hardly we uh, get to, to pay uh, salaries in time at this situation why still we run engineering colleges just because of passion we need engineering colleges we run out of passion and this is where we expect more and more associations and more and more uh, i think support from uh, biotech cell kind of uh, organizations uh, please come to rural areas uh, one advantage is i think there are great advantages why you need to recruit students from rural area colleges retention ratio will be very good because very low because once they are given a job with basic salary i i don't think they will leave the company with the support of uh, uh, biotech cell when we had now i have around this year i had around 375 students who got placed in various companies accenture tcs wipro capgemini Uh, all these companies and uh, why accenture still they are visiting they have given us the dates because girls last from last two years almost 80% of the girls they are still continuing there in accenture or in in other companies that is there in case of rural areas i don't know what happens in corporate uh, corporate areas or in cities colleges or in universities like that but if they are given an opportunity only thing is we need to push them give them some technology give them some outputs where they get a job once they are given a job they do it very genuinely they do it very sincerely that is what that is why we expect more corporate people to visit our colleges i think will be you will see the result there i have few hr friends who they focus only on rural areas rural college engineering colleges so that is what we expect and uh, thank you mr charan and your team i think we will still have a very great association we want your association we uh, will have a very good future ahead so thank you very much